sorry it took me so long to make this tutorial. Um, oh God, I really don't feel like opening up the mesh. <laughs> sorry. I really don't feel like opening up the mesh right now. So, um, I'm just going to paint this, uh, you know, I can't do that. It's not in my nature. Um, I'm going to just, like, draw and just do, just do something to it right quick. Uh, I'm not really into this. Really, I'm just going to get this out the way so I can watch a movie right quick. Um, so, you know, I just thought I'd do this right quick because this is, like, I've, um, I've tried to do this, like, two times already. The first time, for some reason, it came in in audio format only. And the second time, it was too long to put on YouTube, so hopefully this time, you know, it won't be too long and it won't come in an audio format. God, this has really been getting on my nerves. So, this time, it should be a success. Just touching it up a bit. There, that's it. That's all we're going to do to it. Okay, we're good. Now, okay, we're just letting this load up. So, you press the paint button. But it's important that you remember is, once you press the paint button and you're in paint mode... There's no going back, so you can't um, edit your mesh at all. There's no going back, unless you like uh, save it, exit off, and exit off all the painting you did. It's just you want to create your entire mesh um, before you start painting, okay? And if you haven't updated, like I said on my last uh, paint settings. If you have an, uh, like an updated Windows 7 or Vista computer, this might happen. Um, you might just see plain white, and you can't even paint. How to fix this is, you just watch my paint settings video, um, and also, um, the thing is, you know how you would see shaders right here? That won't show up while you're in paint mode. Only when you're in paint mode. But so you can still color. And I'll show you. And we'll go. Uh, actually get it out black and white. Turn it blue. This will look good. Yeah. Just, just make it blue. And that's how you paint basically. And you can adjust the strength of your brush. Like if you're really just doing some heavy detailing. Like the bluing of the eye. Like, watch this. See, look how shaded that looks. I actually used it to do a glowing effect on one of my missions. Oh, crap. I can't remember what I saved the file as. It's been so long. I mean, really long. But I gave him some kind of glowing eye effect using the strength and the hardness. But just play around with them. And the size you can play around with, too. You see that? the size of them and also to feel see you can actually feel it with the color okay there we go now it's been filled with the color and we can change the color to green say okay change the size of the brush down and can I do the glowing effect again okay I'll do that again Okay, so basically what I did is I made the eye, and what I did was I changed strength down to about there, and I marked these very pits of the eyes like that. I just did that. Uh, it's not the exact same way I did it, but it gives it kind of a glowing effect when you render it. And so there we go. And so that sets all you need to know about painting, really. That's it. Oh, you, you adjust this, uh, the color modifier. Here we go. So just play around with paint. And, uh, yeah, you just do that. Oh, I'm liking how this is looking. I'm liking how this is looking. Okay, and so just 
do that. So I'm not going to say this. This is just an example. And so exit off. Okay. That's the end of the tutorial. Uh, I think I only spent 10, no, probably 6 minutes. Maybe a little more. See you later.